Hey everybody, this is Michael, aka Faithful Writer. Just checking in on my HCG vlog today. Today is one more day of whatever VLCD I was on before. Uh, 22, 28, I think. All right, so uh, stats today. I weighed in big goose egg. Yeah, that's how it goes. Um, you know, I was thinking back to the other day that I struggled with uh, the scale. It also was the day after I went fishing. So I don't know if it's just, you know, dehydration and a little bit of extra sun, my body's hanging on to water, whatever it was. I mean, I did what I was supposed to do yesterday and I didn't lose weight. So it happened before, I know the weight's going to come back off again. So, well, keep coming off. It didn't come off this last time. So I'm not stressed about it at all this time. Um, I know that I did not drink good water yesterday, and I did not drink very good water today. So, shame on me. Um, in fact, when I woke up this morning, I was thirsty. It's the first time I felt thirsty in a long time. Um, when I first woke up, I was like, wow, I feel thirsty. And I knew right then I had not drank enough, uh, drank enough water the day before. So, I knew the scale was going to say no loss, and sure enough, I got on it, no loss. Knew it. Just knew it. Anyway, not too gonna worry about that too much. So, um, today just wanted to give out a shout out to Rochelle. Um, talked to her a lot today and kind of, you know, got a lot of things out, a lot of things out of my head that I was thinking and worrying about and stuff. So she really helped me through that, and so I really do appreciate her. Thanks. Um, um, so. I looked up my HCG vial. I'm running, starting to run a little low. I think I've got about four days worth of injections. I may be three, but probably four. So that means I'm just about done, just about done. I'm ready for phase three. Um, today my hunger was pretty good. I wasn't too worried about it at all. Um, I've spread out my, my food for today. Like I didn't eat my apples and my my meat together and spread it out so um, we'll see how that works today um, I cooked some tilapia tonight for dinner mmm mwah it was so good so good uh, I don't want to eat a lot of fish but once a week definitely it hit the spot tonight it was good uh, it was tilapia with um, with um, what did I put on it black pepper and um, cilantro with um, lemon juice on it. Yeah, it was off the hook. Mmm. Anyway, I feel much better with my protein when I eat something that I like. Uh, so no protein shakes today. Not at all. It was good. Um, yeah, um, didn't really have any cravings today. Um, yeah, so things are good. I'm excited for the rest of this week. I'm going to finish off strong. I'm just going to, you know, really take care of business, try to get my water in. <clears throat> I'm going to have to handle that here in a minute. Anyway, yeah, but yeah, I want to have a strong week this week and, you know, start strong into phase three. So, um, so I went back and watched the video for last night. It was pretty heavy duty. Um. I don't know, it doesn't always, like when I'm starting to do these videos, I usually have like a topic in mind, um, but it, that one ended up being real heavy duty last night at the end, so, um, you know, thanks for people that listened to that one. Again, that was really for myself. I'm really starting to, the, the mind game is really coming into play right now. I mean, the, the excitement of starting is wore off, the excitement of working towards my goal is gone. I mean, I still have another goal of the, you know, 40, but my main goal was 34 and I hit it. Um, so the excitement of this round is, you know, is evaporated. So that's where the mind stuff starts to come in. And having to deal with that has been a little tricky. So, um, yeah, it's so much more mental now. And I think it's going to be more mental as, as the as I expand what, you know, the allowed foods that I can have. I'm just worried it's going to be more likely that I cheat. Mm. So, 
uh, I'll probably have to lean on the community a little bit more coming up probably next week or so. So um, if I start sending more messages and asking for more help, things in advance for your guys' help with that. Um, yeah, I, I, I thought a lot about today about, you know, the community and what it means and, you know, how, how you know, what a help it's been. Because um, I have a long way to go. I have a long way to go. I mean, this round one and round two were a success. Um, I have a lot of more, or I mean, phase two, one and two were a success, but I have a lot of more rounds to go. Yeah, a lot of weight to lose still. And today I was really thinking about, like, you know, what am I going to do when I lose the weight, thinking of the things that, you know, all the positive things that are going to come from it. Um, but it's so far away, so far away. And I know that if I just take it one day at a time, it'll get there. But, I mean, looking back, it's only been a month that I've been on this. Oh, so long. Ooh, sorry. Um, I just don't know if I have the stamina to go all, all that way, you know. And, you know, and there's been times that I've been tempted to cheat, but... Looking ahead, how many more times is it going to happen? And how many more times are I going to have to say no? Just the enormity of the task sometimes gets to me. Um, not that I'm saying I want to stop, because I want to, I want to do this. I want to go and go all the way and get my goal and, you know... You know, accomplish what I started out to do. But man, the end looks so far away, so far out there. I don't want to dwell on it, but it pops up in my mind a lot, and I don't know quite how to. I don't know, handle it or put it in perspective to just kind of look at the now. And I think my goal had, my original goal had helped me that. I mean, I knew I had to lose like over 100 pounds. But if I can get the first 34 down, I mean, that was my goal, just to focus right there, have my blinders on, and just get to 34. Now that I'm there, it's just kind of like the whole horizon has opened up, and it's like I see kind of the end and how far away it is. And I know, like, if you're hiking or doing long walks, you can break up, you know, you, you make, you know, you pick a landmark and you go there. And then, you know, when you get there, you pick another landmark and you go there and so on and so on. Um, I don't have another landmark yet because I'm in this kind of, I don't know, limbo or weird area where, like, I've met my first goal. This 40 goal is not a, you know, it's not a set in stone goal. It's I'd like to be there, but if I don't, I'm already okay with not being there because I've made it at least to where I wanted to be in the first phase. Isabel. Um, my daughter just got out of the shower. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if that picked that up. But, um... Anyway, so I don't know where I should set my next goal marker at. I don't really, I mean, phase three doesn't have a goal weight loss. In fact, you know, a lot, the protocol is to stay within two pounds of one way or the other of your, of the end of phase two. In my mind, I'm like, I want to keep losing. I want to keep going. To put the brakes on now is hard. It re I'm sorry, I've been a little emotional today. Today, it's hard. It is like, like I've just been going and going and going, and now I have to stop. That's really hard. And so my goal in phase three is not, you know, it's not a, here's an objective you need to get to. It's don't go over two pounds. Um, Stay within two pounds of your weight and introduce new foods to stabilize. That's really hard for someone who, like me, who's goal-oriented to have such an 
abstract, non-concrete, here is your fixed goal. So I'm really worried that's going to affect the outcome of phase three. So I don't know. I really need to get ready for it. It's coming up soon. The next couple days I'll be there. Um, I'm looking forward to it one way, but a little scared than others. So anyway, I don't want to go too long tonight. Um, mine have just been going on long lately, and I, I'm going to try to cut this one a little short. Um, anyway, so we'll look forward to good results tomorrow. I'll try to get my water in tonight. Everyone else, thanks for watching tonight. Keep up the great work. You guys' videos are just awesome out there. Um, Paul, the barber, man, you if you're watching these, if you, if you guys are not watching these, Go watch it. I mean, that is inspiration right there. Inspiration. He is so inspiring. Just like, wow, you know. That I man, that dude. I have so much respect for him. So much respect. Um, you just keep it up, man. Keep it up. I know you can do it. Um, and Jenny, I saw those uh, the photos you posted on Facebook. Well, that's it's so inspiring too, man. Just today, the, the pictures that you put on there, man. That's great. That is awesome. And you can just totally see the difference in those pictures, you know. Wow, you should be so proud. So, those were my inspirations today. Um, yeah, to keep me going on, on the post-goose egg day. But, um, anyway, so I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Bye.